Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can split up faces um, in order to be able to use parts of objects to affect the whole object inside of Rhino. This will make more sense when we get into the video, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're just gonna use a very simple example in this video. And one of the first fundamental things that I want you to understand is the ability to select sub objects inside of an object. And so what that means is that means that right now, if I click on this object right here and I have the gumball active, but if I click on this object right here, right, I'm getting the whole cube or the whole rectangular extruded object in this space. And so that's fine, but sometimes you want to select a sub portion of an object. Well, to do this, like this face, for example, well, to do that, what you can do is you can hold control and shift and then click on something in your model, right? So if I hold control shift right here, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me the ability to pick up just one face in here and work with it, right? So I can click off of here and then do it again to do a control shift right here. And you can do this not only to select faces, but you can also do it, use it to select like edges of objects like this, right? So you can use this in order to do sub editing of an object in here and it's really valuable. But what I wanna be able to do is within this, I now wanna be able to add an additional split to this object. And so the way that we can do that is to use the split faces function. Now note that there is another tool in here called split, which is not what we're looking for, right? So if I type in split right here and hit the enter key, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to split an object using another object. Well, in this case, we don't want that. We want the function split face. And so when we type in split face, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to select a face. So in this case, I'll click on my top face right here and you can hit the enter key and then you can draw a line in here in order to split this surface, right? So if I draw a line across here like this um, between this corner and this midpoint right here and then I hit the enter key, what that's gonna do is that's gonna split my surface. And if I do a control shift click, notice how I can pick up these individual edges or faces and what that's done is that's split this whole thing out. Well, that's actually especially valuable because now I can use this um, in order to edit this individual face like this using just the split inside a Rhino. And so obviously there's a lot of things that you can do with that and there's also some other things that you can do with that split function in order to get more precise depending on what you're trying to do. So let's say that I was to take this object and extrude it into 3D. We'll make sure that this is a solid object, but let's say that I didn't necessarily want to use that tool, or let's say that I didn't want to use just the straight edge that you could draw on the tool. And so let's say that we had a control point curve that was gonna run across the surface, right, like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit enter, and what I've done is I've drawn a curve across that surface. Well now, if I run the split face function and I select this face and hit enter, notice how in addition to being able to draw a split axis, there's also an option for curves up here. So if I type C, that's gonna put me in curve mode. That's gonna allow me to select a split curve and hit the enter key. Well, when I do that, now if I do a control shift click in here, notice how this use that curve in order to split that surface. So not only can you draw straight lines in here, you can pre-draw lines on a surface and then use those to split out an object. Now, another thing that you can do with this is you can also put shapes on your surface. So let's say for example that we had, whoops, we're gonna do an extrude curve again, extrude this up like this, well, in this case, let's say that we had a circle on the surface. So we'll just draw it in the middle right here, just like this. Well, you can use that split face function by typing split face, clicking on the face, and then selecting the curve. So type C, I'm gonna click on that curve and hit enter. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna split this face using that circle. Well, now we just wanna select this surface right here. So we want the poly surface edge. Notice how if I move that up, because I split this face with that circle, um, this is now affecting 
the rest of this face whenever I move it around using the gumball. So I can use this in order to really quickly split out surfaces and then make them more complex by moving around the object that I split this with. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tool. If you're using it, I just love having that conversation with you guys. Um, if there's more Rhino tutorials you'd like to see, leave a comment below and let me know. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.